I'm with Jim Rutler at Ithra Aviation here at Sun and Fun 2023 down in Florida. And you know, Jim, in a few short years, Ithra Aviation has been cranking out product after product based on cockpit biometrics. And you're here at the show with yet another product. It's called the Health View. As far as I know, the Health View is the only dedicated multifunction biometric display for cockpits. But let's back up a little bit and talk a little bit more about the history of Ithra and why you're here in the first place. All right, so Ithra actually began in 2016 on the way back from Air Venture in Oshkosh in an RV-10 that I had just completed building. And I had put my family at risk on that flight at a density altitude of about 18,000 feet. We ran out of oxygen and our inability to monitor the oxygen and the health of the pilot and passengers, the flow of the oxygen and control it uh, was something that inspired the vision behind Ithra. So over the past six years, what we've been working on is an ecosystem of pulse oximetry, carbon monoxide detection, and oxygen tank pressure monitoring that would enable the health view. And we've been using the app on the iPad and the iPhone uh, up to this point, but uh, in order to be the command and control but the limitation with that is obvious. And what we've wanted is something that was more dedicated, more reliable and integrated. And this is where we come to the Health View, which we'll be talking about today. The Health View is a miniature form factor, just a few inches in size, uses just 150 milliamps of power, and is designed to provide constant monitoring of health and biometric information, as well as oxygen system control. It is versatile, it allows um, a pilot to monitor oxygen, flow rate, blood oxygen level, heart rate, cabin pressure altitude. We're testing it here on an Vans RV10, which is our platform of choice for prototyping uh, R&D, but the Health View is actually approved for installation on all Part 23 aircraft, all the way from Cessna 172s up to Pilatuses and TBMs and pressurized aircraft. The Health View features four main gauges on the landing page. We've got oxygen, pressure, carbon monoxide, flow rate of the oxygen to the pilot, and blood oxygen level of the pilot. Any one of these four can be expanded to get a larger gauge that's easier to view. We've got oxygen tank pressure of 830 pounds, carbon monoxide currently of zero here on the ramp with our doors open, blood oxygen level from the Illyrian that I'm actively wearing of approximately 98%. And we've got flow rate, which uh, is pegged at 0.6 as we've been uh, using a bit of oxygen. The bottom panel is independently um, navigated to provide cabin pressure altitude, as well as pilot, and up to five additional stations of blood oxygen level heart rate, respiration, and flow rate. This allows you to get access to other information in addition to the information of your main primary gauges here at the top portion of the health view, of the focus area that we call. In addition to the gauges, you get a number of warnings, including oxygen flow rate, respiration rate, heart rate and blood oxygen level for pilot and up to five additional passengers in real time. There's cabin warnings for carbon monoxide, temperature dew point spread, freezing levels, and cloud levels relative to the aircraft. So the health view will present one blood oxygen level for the pilot as we've discussed, but it will expand automatically as additional Illyrians are paired wirelessly to support up to six additional or total people in the aircraft. So what you see here is two people wearing the Illyrian pulse oximeter and you're getting blood oxygen level for the pilot and the passenger as well as heart rate for the pilot and the passenger. If you've got two people, this is the user interface uh, that is automatically presented for, which includes the blood oxygen level as well as the heart rate for two people. If you go to four people, the heart rate is dropped and you'll get the blood oxygen level presented in four large gauges for the four occupants of the aircraft. So really the heart of the health view is the integration with the AVI series of oxygen systems. We've got 
dedicated built-in as well as portable systems for experimental and certified aircraft. One of the exciting features is that not only does the Health View present the information from the built-in AVIs and the portable AVIs, but it also controls that oxygen flow using a built-in barometric pressure sensor that adjusts the dosage of oxygen for the pressure altitude that the aircraft is presently flying. In addition, there are auto mode features which enable the oxygen to come on and off automatically based upon flight altitude as well as blood oxygen level, heart rate, and carbon monoxide levels in the aircraft automatically when those thresholds are met. So what kind of installation time do you think it might take to wire this thing up? It's uh, pretty simple from a wiring standpoint, right? It sure is. There's two wires. It's power and ground. And if you're using the oxygen system, there's going to be two additional dedicated uh, communication lines. But four wires and uh, 12 to 18 volts and 150 milliamps. You'll need about three inches diagonal of panel space. We designed it to be small and the current draw to be low so that it will fit in most any aircraft. What's the price point? $895 here at the show. We're offering 10% off uh, for the week. Uh, availability will be within the month. Uh, we're actually in final testing. I flew from Washington to Florida in about 18 hours to do uh, some final testing and make some final tweaks. It's been approved by the FAA for installation and certified, as well as experimental aircraft, of course, all Part 23, including pressurized aircraft. So, And you could look for a uh, full report on the ITRA Health View in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. For Aviation Consumer and AvWeb here at Sun and Fun 2023 in Florida, I'm Larry Anglisano. Thanks again to Jim Rutler at ITRA Aviation. Enjoy the show.